Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Lisa. So, you know where I'm at. I'm at work. It is December 23rd, 23rd day of Vlogmas. And I still have some catching up to do with these vlogs. But, um, wanted to say good morning. I'm at the office. Hopefully, this will not be a full day of work because, because, okay? Um, yeah, I'll holler at you guys later. Again, I just wanted to say good morning. And, um, it's pouring down rain here. It's still almost 60 degrees in December up in Jersey, and I'm like tripping out. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a little afraid. Yesterday, I think, was the first day of, of, of winter officially, but this is just so odd. So I'm hoping that we're not in for a long, cold winter. So, but it is what it is, come what may, right? All right, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at my eyes. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm looking like a hot mess right now. It is actually eight o'clock. Eight o'clock on Wednesday, and it has been pouring down rain since I left the office today. And I left the office about two o'clock. So, yeah, and you know what that means. And then I don't sleep at night. So, homegirl got to my parents' house, and I have been knocked out. So not much going on, but as you can tell, I have taken my twist out because Monday was two weeks of my um, protective style. So it's been a little bit over two weeks since I washed my hair, but, and sometimes I go longer than that, but because I have like this bad breakout with eczema and then dandruff and because of the weather, it's changing up and down, up and down here. Um, my hair needs some TLC, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a quick deep condition. Well, not quick. I'm going to deep condition it, rinse it, let it air dry. And when I get home, I'm going to do the stretching method. And I will not actually style it until tomorrow. It's just going to be something simple because I think I'm going to wear like a three-strand twist out for Christmas. And then, then I will put it back into a protective style. So, um, to work on the moisture or to combat and reverse all of this dryness, I am going to use my favorite combo for deep conditioning. It's so simple and easy, um, which is my apple cider vinegar and water rinse. And um, that is, what do I use? Let me get it. This is the Trader Joe's apple cider vinegar. Okay, it is unfiltered. And, uh, yeah, this is the bomb. Okay. Uh, what else? And the apple cider vinegar. And what I combine with that or what I'm going to use for deep treatment. I didn't bring any of my Miss Jessie's from that I just got. And, but my other favorite deep conditioner is from um, Shea Moisture. And I'm going to do the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Mask. So when I mix the two together, it is the bomb. Put on my plastic cap and homegirl's good to go. Okay, so I'm going to get started because I got some detangling and stuff to do. And um, I'll holler at you guys later. Switches. Good morning, guys. What's up? It's your girl, Lisa. Switches Makeup Artistry. So, it is still morning. Huh? How you like me now? It's uh, about 11.30, but today is December the 24th. So that means it's the 24th day of Vlogmas, and also it is Christmas Eve. So, and I did something that I never ever do, or I have not done since I was like in high school. Um, yeah, I fell asleep with so many things going on, makeup still on, so if it looked like I got black eyes, there's a reason for that. And yesterday, I did the apple cider vinegar treatment, and then I did the deep treatment. Um, okay, so that's still here. I came home and I said, you know what? I'll just get in the shower and wash it out. Fell asleep. That didn't happen. Then when I got up this morning, I'm like looking around. Oh my God, I have no shampoo here. Like, are you serious? Like, I usually do my hair and my mom's hair at the same time. Um, we have the same wash day. So, um, and her hair is a lot more... Well, I'm not going to say my hair is not manageable, but hers is not as thick as mine, and it doesn't take as much time. Um, and especially in the wintertime, she just does protective styling and wears wigs. So, um, all my stuff is there. And I thought last night, I'm like, no, I got some shampoo at home. So, because I have so much crap, I didn't think it was all over there, the shampoo anyway. 
but thank you lord i found something um a few minutes ago so i'm happy about that i'm gonna get my butt in the shower and hopefully this is a good product um i used to use them when i was relaxed um they were really expensive but anyway it is mazani um it is called mazani true textures curl balance for natural curls if you guys can see that the light is probably in the way, but that's what it's, oh, there it goes. True textures, curl balance for natural curls. Um, it's a color safe and sulfate free shampoo. So let's see how this works. It has apricot oil or apricot, however you want to say it, jojoba oil and fruit sugars. Um, this is something that I got from Curlbox probably almost six months ago because I stopped getting Curlbox. Um, and if you don't know what Curlbox is, it is a subscription. I believe they still have it. I just got so many things from them. It was like product overload and half of the stuff I ended up giving away because I wasn't going to use it. Like when I find something that's working for my hair, I'm going to try to just keep that going while it's still working. But anyway, um, it's a great thing to have if you're transitioning, just starting off with the whole thing, or you did a big chop, you're looking for products to work with your hair, but you don't want to invest in a whole lot of money. It's $25 a month for Curlbox, and if they are still doing it, I'll leave a link below. I know sometimes they close the registration for it because they're overwhelmed with people. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link below, and if they have it, I will suggest signing up with them. I believe it's another one called Curl Kit. I never tried that one, but I was satisfied with Curl Box because you get basically like full size products in each box and then you get samples. And like I said, it's $25 a month. Um, and you can cancel at any time. So I was cool. All right, let me get started because it's going to be pretty much like a chill day, but I do have some errands to run and some running to do. And again, it's Christmas Eve, so. It may be a little hectic out there and it's supposed to pour down rain again like it did yesterday and that's not going to be good so i'm just going to try to get a move on it and get out of here so i will see you guys later Mwah. oh no all right guys i am just getting out the shower skin peeling up like a fool i'm still leaking uh oh. so I just wanted to show you guys my hair. Making sure that is. Show my hair after I use that. Just want to show you guys my hair after I use that stuff. So my hair is actually really still moisturized. My roots are really thick, so the definition there is a little <laughs> ragged. But if you can see the rest of my hair, it's pretty defined. I don't know if I can kind of zoom in. You do to see hair behind this white. So if you can see, I'm getting on my way. It's pretty defined. It's just my natural pattern after I shower. You can see that one. So and it has disappeared and shriveled up. But I'm gonna style it real quick and get out of here. So I'll hit you guys up later. Deuces. Oh, that's better. Hey guys. Okay, so right. No, I'm kidding. Don't be mad. Hey guys, look who's here. My favorite. It's Christmas Eve. She's a little upset because I told her don't say anything because I told her I had to get the camera out because I forgot to vlog the last couple of places we went to. So, and I told her don't say anything. So she's mad at me. I just meant I don't say anything. Mad at you. I just meant I told her don't think I of anything. Don't think you need to talk to me so. Something. I was just telling her don't be trying to think of something to do because I don't have to think. Alright, well, say hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I You're not going to see, see them? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we went to the farm. Um, the same place I went to before um, the bonfire to get some more <laughs> to get some more popcorn. Um, so, she got a bag, I got a bag because that's how we roll. What else we get from the farm? Monkey knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, she got some type of nuts that take her back to Louisville, Georgia. Um, in the country. 
Yeah. Old bag. She, she likes nuts. I love nuts. <laughs> um, and then we left Target. So let me tell you what happened with Target because somebody got an attitude. Where your little bag at? I don't want to know. Okay, well, I can't show it. But anyway, we get in Target. I'm looking for these shirts for my dad because technically, because I don't. The day before Christmas. Well, yeah, it is the day before Christmas, but. I don't shop for anybody else except for my mom and dad or if I had a man so I don't have that <laughs> thank you Jesus save my coins and they are coins um and the only other person I think I'm getting for and I'm just gonna take my time with that that'll be after Christmas the day after it's my goddaughter um that's about it I don't really do anything else nieces and nephews all grown and bye we don't do that so saving my money because my rent still do the first um, so anyway, we get in Target, get the shirts. They were cheap. They were on sale for $15. That's what the rack said. So I get my dad two shirts and this one. Oh, I like this one. This is cute. Why not? You know, so we couldn't decide between. It's similar to one that I got him. So I said I liked it. Oh, I'll Same buy it. Rack. Same rack. I'll buy it for him. So when we get up to the register, she goes ahead of me. You sent she, me away. I'm sorry. I sent her away. Because it was kind of crowded in there, but I they had like every. There. I wouldn't have had no problem. They um, they had every register open in there, so she goes in front of me, and then she yells back to tell me to check my shirts when I get up there because hers didn't come up right. In front of you mean to a different register? Yeah. You told me to go on up to the next register. Go to register 11. I went And there. it's my fault. So... I asked the guy to check my shirts before he actually rung them up. And he checked them and he said, oh, they're both coming up $24.99. I said, oh, no, boo. I said, oh, no, I don't want it. What you looking at? I said, oh, no, I don't want it because... And then I lied. I was like, I already got him something. <laughs> I don't want to spend no I extra money. Lie. I did lie. I didn't get him money. I said, I don't want to spend no extra money on this just because... I'm, I, you know, my dad stays in the house for the most part at this point. He's retired. He doesn't go anywhere. And he's going to dirty the shirt up tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to dirty it up. It'll have, like, grease. <laughs> it'll have fish paint. grease on it. We paint. paint. Yeah, so, and then, like, he'll wear this shirt for a week straight and then alternate. So, I don't spend a whole lot of money on him like that. So, that's what I, I got up there, and he changed my price. He said, oh, it said 50 <laughs> He said, oh, then it'll be 15 That's what the rack said. I said, oh, yeah. I said, well, I... I'm pretty sure it said the whole rack was $15. So, anyway, Merry Christmas to me. He hooks me up in this one, holding her bag, and she paid $24 for the one shirt. So, taking her back. I know. We were going to take it back right then, but that customer service line was, like, wrapped around the corner. So, okay. Right now, we're getting ready to run into Sam's. I'm going to take the camera in there. Okay. You don't care? I don't care. Okay, well, because if you guys don't know what Sam's is, because I know a lot of people know Costco's and BJ's, it's the same thing. Are you kidding me? Sam's, it, <laughs> my face greasy. Sam's is owned by the same company or conglomerate that old, owns Walmart. So, okay, we're going to go inside. Because, look at us, look at the two of us. Wait. Look at you in the front. Because <laughs> we're going to go in here. Because I'm ready to go and just chill out. It's Christmas Eve and that's all I'm going to do. Lay back, watch go TV. Cook. and. Eat. She doesn't have to cook. We're coming to Sam's to get some meat for tomorrow that's going to already be cooked. But she has to have collard greens because she wants it. And who wants some mac and cheese? I told you I don't care. You don't want it? I, okay, I well, totally. I will make that then. Yeah, you have my. I brought the uh, the elbows, Look but I, you can you can keep them. I will. Yeah. So yeah, we don't. I'm. I, I don't Where's care. Your rice? That's fine. That's quick and easy. Her back's been bothering her. I got cramps. My back hurting. I'm gonna cook my collard greens. You can cook your collard greens, but yeah, she yeah, her back's been bothering her since making all those cookies and she overdoes it all the time and doesn't listen to me. Them? She thinks that she's she thinks she's still my age. And then again, I'm her age. No, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> so wearing her down, baby. Alright guys, we're gonna go on inside. Starts from now, yes.
Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa. So it is about 11.52 on Christmas Eve. Um, I just got back in the house. I am, ooh, I'm getting ready to take it down. Got a long day tomorrow. So by the time you see this, I'm actually gonna try to do some editing tonight. I got like a few vlogs to pack into one. So, by the time you see this, it will most likely be Christmas if you're watching. So, I want to wish you all a happy, very merry, safe, and blessed Christmas, New Year's. Well, I'll be back for New Year's, but, um, yeah. And again, you know, there are so many reasons to be thankful that you woke up this morning, that you are healthy, and if you're not healthy, that you're still here, that you are here for a reason. So... I just try to reiterate that because I know that it can be very depressing at times around this time of the year. You see everybody with their families, um, you know. So I'm not going to get into that, but I ask or I um, pray that all of you are doing well and are having a blessed holiday, whether it's by yourself or surrounded by hundreds of people. Okay, guys. Oh, and for my hair, um, uh, I just put little, little tiny twists in the front. And I'm going to put those into two big flat twists. And the rest is going to just be, woo, just going to hang. Right now, it's in the stretching process. So, you know how that looks, right? Yeah. So, I came home with my little bonnet on. And I had it kind of well, hanging off so that it appears to be a hat instead of an actual bonnet. Because I hate, yeah, I don't, mm -mm. going out in public, although I was driving home in the dark with a bonnet. Mm -mm, it's not a good look. I just, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. It's like bonnets are made for sleeping, boo. Get that off your head. All right, guys. I'll holler at you later. Be blessed, and most importantly, be a blessing. Smooches, guys. Mwah.